Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lizzie. I post a lot of beauty related content here on my channel and today is the last video of Revolution Week. I'm so sad but there is a giveaway so which is the Roxy palette and the Roxy lashes so definitely head over to my haul and go check that out. However, we are doing a full face of my Revolution favourites. So before you watch this video, please try and write in the comments what you think will be in this video. Maybe my favourite highlight, blush, bronzer, palette. Like what do you think? And now let's begin. For palette, it has to be the original, it's upside down, the box coffee palette by iHeart Revolution just has to be. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this palette when it came out. I used to wear it for work and the packaging is really cute. The colour on the inside is really cute. It's just something that I've reached for time and time again. This is what the inside actually looks like and I'm not going to go too into depth with it but I am going to start shoving some colour onto my face. I think the only item I haven't got is an eye base because I only have medium. I really need to get, I just feel like the light is too light. First shade I want to go in is Java. By the way, some of these will be favourites that I've recently found and some of these will be favourites that I've loved for a very long time. Then I want to go in with Mocha. There is a lot of kickback in these pans but I love this palette, I absolutely do. Then I want to take the shade Macchiato and this I like to just slightly dab on the outer corner. Such a quick easy look. And then take Grind which is this lovely bronzy shade all over my lid. And then use what's left on the macchiato colour on the brush just to blend it out. Just a quick look. This is the point that I like to do my eyes. So I'm going to use Roxy Liner because it's an absolute fave. Um, the five, no. I haven't got the chocolate dip mascara so I might as well do the peach one. Roxy Lashes. And my XX um, eyebrow pomade is somewhere over here. I've got to get it. And I'll come back. So we've got me eyebrows, me lashes on and all of that kind of jazz. So I've never had a primer from Revolution that I've like, oh my god, I really like it. Um, so I am going to use something new to me because I'm starting to like it. This is the Unicorn Heart Primer. This is what it looks like. It's new to me. It's new to Revolution. It's a couple of weeks old. It's got like iridescent glitter in there. And I really liked it when I applied it the other day. So I'm going to use it again. I couldn't tell you about the longevity of it, but I can tell you that my makeup... Sorry, I thought the dog was coming in. Um, my makeup did look nice on top of the primer, so yeah. I am going to use it again because I did like it. And this probably will become a like favourite of mine. It is so hydrating and then it just feels so tacky. Obviously you're gonna have to use Concealer Define. This is my ultimate favourite foundation ever from Revolution. I've tried a few. This is in the shade F8.5. My mirror, there we go, that's better. It's just such a good, and I love the applicator on this. Then I want to put Conceal and Define on, my ultimate favourite concealer from them. I have recently tried the Infinite one, but it's just not as great as this one. Also, I want to put my peach oil on my lips. I always do this when I'm fi filming, and it is such a good oil that I've had to take the stopper out because I've got the tiniest little bit left. And then for powder, you know it has to be my Rev CC powder. Nothing quite compares. Just doesn't change the shade of your foundation. It doesn't move it about. It just feels amazing on the skin. It's very comparable to the Rimmel Stay Matte. It's not cakey. It blends so nicely. For bronzer, my ultimate favourite bronzer is Latte. It's the coffee bronzer, it has to be. I think 
yep i had a hair on my mouth i literally nearly hit pan on this thing i love it i went way too into that it is hella pigmented like wow i f i went wow well, that was a flop for blush it has to be the Roxy palette like there just is no other blush that I've reached for time and time again from Revolution and it's always this shade here I feel like I want to use a different one but you know what let me just not muck up this look more than I have and I'm gonna go for this one Roxy's collabs are just so good As you can tell, I really like her lashes, her liner, her sponge from that set. The next thing I've really liked is this Rosé Fizz Glow, which I think is the first time I've actually pronounced it correctly. And I'm going to use the blush topper. Do you know why? Why not mess this look up a little bit more? Did any of you guess what my favourite highlight would be? If you're OG, you will know. Yes. Thanks for ruining that stuff. It's the Mega Honey highlight. It is my absolute fave. Like, ooh, it's what got me into gold highlight. I'm actually gonna put some here. For lips, it's gonna be another collab. It's definitely gotta be Soph's fudge. And then we're going to put syrup, no, cake in the middle. Let me just outline my lips with this. I said outline, I just did it on my whole lip. Then we're going to put cake in the centre. Last thing is inner corner brow bone highlight. So we're going to take the shade Instant. And this, guys, is the final look. So yeah guys, I've used a full face of favourites. These are my holy grail revolution favourite products that I reach for time and time again. I'm in love with it, a nice neutral look. These are my favourite kind of looks to do. I love brownie tones, it's just a little bit of me. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. Please smash it a huge thumbs up, subscribe down below, go enter my giveaway. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Bye.